see here in San Francisco, most of the time it's sold out. This is called Alcatraz. You might hear people calling it The Rock. If you guys look up at the upper level of Alcatraz, you see the only long building up on top. Jail cells, the mess hall, the kitchen area, hospital, bathroom, library, the barbershop. On the lower level here, you see the long building coming out to the point. These were the two workshops that did a lot of sewing. Florida forces made a lot of wooden furniture for the federal government. This was also the laundry facilities. Alcatraz was founded in 1775 by Spanish explorer Juan Manuel de Ayala. Back in 1848, Alcatraz was a perfect spot for a fort to defend the bay. It was a military reservation and a fortress. 1934 through 1962, federal penitentiary. Many famous characters spent their lives there. Al Capone, Machine Gun Kelly, Birdman. It averaged about 264 prisoners throughout its 29 year history. The isolation in the cold bay made escape impossible. But yet from 1936 to 1962, there were 34 men prisoner lives and 14 different attempts of break out of Alcatraz. As of today, they're saying nobody made it. Everybody got caught. But back in 1962, three guys jumped in the bay. Frank Morris and the Anglin brothers. Never did find the three bodies, but the word is this. They drowned, the sharks ate them. A few months later, they shut the entire prison down due to the three escapees that were stamped as barrel. Later that year, in 1963, the federal government named this 12-acre island as surplus property. November of 1969, 90 Native American Indians landed here on the island and claimed Alcatraz as Indian land. Their intentions were good. They wanted to make an Indian culture center on the island. On their two-year stay here, a couple of buildings were burned down, the roofs were missing, the plumbing.